I'm from Network Services uh, Business Unit of Tech Mahindra, and we focus on uh, the network transformation for communication service providers, uh, bringing best of breed technology, bringing best of breed solutions, and then offering services spanning the entire network life cycle, starting from consulting all the way to network planning, network design, network rollouts, field services, and managed services at the back end for networks of service providers. So networks are going through a major transformation now. In particular, what we have seen in the world of compute with cloud computing, uh, bringing those similar capabilities now to the network. So if we think about the cloud operating model, it's really all about do it yourself, self-service, on-demand, elastic scaling, uh, delivering compute resources as and when, and IT and, and, and enterprise needs. Same principles, but now to the network, where network becomes a platform and enabling enterprises to really uh, get the network capabilities on demand uh, in a do-it-yourself manner. We can do self-service and uh, can really constructing a network that really meets the enterprises needs for varying use cases that are coming up uh, for the different enterprise verticals. So when we talk about network transformation, in particular about 5G, one of the main constructs in there is the network slicing, which really is taking capabilities, benefits from key capabilities of networks around control user plane separation, mobile edge computing, virtualization of the entire network all the way from radio access to the packet core. And then network slicing layers on top of it, enabling the network to change its anatomy in software. So when we think about network slicing, it's the network adapting its capabilities, resources, topology to deliver optimal network for different use cases that different enterprises might have. That is the promise of network slicing and what that really means uh, from a Tech Mahindra standpoint is we believe that with 5G, with network slicing, service providers now will have a network that can be dynamically sliced and differentially priced. So when we talk about 5G and we look at the use cases, there are a plethora of use cases. Uh, uh, broadly classified into enhanced mobile broadband, which is really taking your consumer's broadband experience, but much more enhanced, and then bringing in more immersive experiences like augmented reality, virtual reality, and more. The second broad set of use cases is around massive IoT, which is all about how do you connect massive amount of sensors, be it ranging from smart home to smart stadium to smart cities and more. And then the third broad set of use cases come in the category of ultra-reliable, low-latency communication, sometimes referred to as critical IoT, et cetera. This is where we're talking about things like autonomous self-driving cars, we're talking about telemedicine, we're talking about manufacturing precision robots, uh, et cetera. How do you enable these kind of use cases that need very high reliability and very low latency from the network? And one more point. If you can see across all these use cases, the ARPU are going to vary. It, connecting a sensor versus connecting a, a, a remote surgery, uh, the, the price points are going to be very different. And that's in where we think network slicing will really unleash the power of creating networks that meets the needs of each of these use cases, but also enabling service providers to differentially price the networks depending on the needs of those use cases. Well, I think so. The event so far, I mean, we've had some good customer meetings. I think there's obviously a realization for me that as far as SDN and NFV is concerned, uh, a few years back, there was a lot of discussion whether this will happen or not. It's now set. The reality is set. All the service providers are talking about not why, but how. And I think also at this event now, I see a lot of discussions around 5G, network slicing, control user plane separation. So I think clearly, uh, we are accelerating the network transformation journey as an industry.